Hey everybody, and welcome back to Terraria! We are still working on building our Hellbridge. It's been a while that we've been doing that. And also, fishing quests. Because fishing quests... We are at some point here when I feel like the Hellbridge is big enough going to start using all those uh, potions. Um, you know, it's 8.02 p.m. Have we done our quest today? I don't remember. With the whole Slime King thing. Okay. You you are satisfied for now. So we've got about 12 in-game hours. To go ahead and get stuff done. Which is fine by me. Trying to... There we go. By doing this, we'll be able to clear any and all cobwebs that show up. Oops. So just make our fall a little bit faster, as we won't get caught up. Oh, there you go. So, now that we are awesomely down in hell, That was simple enough. I forgot I could make all slimes friendly. So we have to clear all of this hellstone. And we have to clear it so that we can uh, as well as empty out all the lava here. So that we can come through with our, our path. This slime is trying really, really hard. I have to give him props. Wow, he actually made it up here. You're a dick. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Alright. So while that's going, let's go ahead and start building this. side. Stupid bats. Stupid enemies, go away. Be careful to get that kind of voodoo doll. Do I actually have that on me? No, I put it away. The thing that would make slimes friendly that we got from defeating the king slime. I 
think that's all we need is that right there. It's okay, I'd rather have these these imps so I can at least stop their fireballs. They don't generate lava. Okay, if you stand there, I'm going to have an issue. That's a good jump slime. Okay, for some reason it's not scrolling properly. Mouse! Man, sorry, my mouse is having some fun. I just have to ignore the slimes. Really? I do have to care about the demons, unfortunately. of all the guide voodoo dolls. Man, my mouse is really having issues today. I apologize. I'm not getting consistent movement, so it's just being challenging. Luckily the slimes are having a hard time following me. Firebat. Great. Now I killed one of them. <sighs> Hell, how much... Oh gosh, this is actually a problem, isn't it? Uh. 
Mm, just get rid of it, because might as well. Going to need to have to get rid of it eventually. Gonna have to kill that demon too. Fiftieth Hellbat. That doesn't depict how shenanigans this is. I don't know what else does. It's time to leave. Well, we're gonna get work towards that achievement of getting healed by the nurse a whole bunch. But also, we should be able to get a quest. Underground caverns. It is the Bonefish. All right. Bonefish. Alright, we're also going to grab one of these crate potions. Oh, that's a slime. Yeah, there it is, the royal gel. And we're gonna do this. Yep, that's kind of what I expected. So caverns underground. Sounds like fun. But here's the thing. Since we do need to get started on crates, uh, we're going to fish for the duration of one of the crate potions. Even after we get the bonefish, because we will inevitably get the bonefish. It doesn't take that long. make this a little bit nicer of a place, shall we? And by a little bit nicer, I mean give it a little bit more of an arched ceiling. There are also some rubies here. We don't want to punch through that, though. Let's go ahead and... Alright. Nice place. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drink this potion. So, three minutes. Three minutes of fishing. Really need that unbreakable line. That was interesting, I clicked the first time it did not register. Oh, there's our bonefish. Let's get some crates. That's one. Tinkfish. I think that one's new. That is a salamander right here. Another wooden crate. Specular fish. We've seen quite a few of those. So yeah, fishing. <laughs> Should really have a have a have a beer here and. Be nice if we could actually have a boat. I wonder if there's a fishing boat. Oh, we got a tin can. Tin cans are useless. Man, my mouse is just having one of those days. Come on. Oh wow. That cat's really far. So wherever where you're actually casting in the lake doesn't actually matter. Right here is no different than all the way over here. It is important to note that the size of what you're fishing in does matter. Uh, quite a bit, actually. You get penalized if it's too small. Oh man.
That took a while. We're still doing good on bait, which is nice. So many bass. All about that bass, about that bass. Bomb fish. I think I need to actually throw one and see if it works the way I think it does. And we're almost at a crate potion. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and crate potion's done. And it got away. All right, so yeah, it's what I expected. Let's go ahead and put that back. What was the other thing that we got? That was well, the stink fish was different. Thought we got something else. Armored cave fish, stink fish, bone fish, tin cans, stink fish, stink fish. Man, I don't know. So I'm gonna. Oh yeah, we got a blue jellyfish. Where is that? Am I crazy? I thought that's what I saw. Must have been something else. I'm gonna have to like relook the footage on that. It's not a type of bait. Odd. I, I am going to go ahead and carve this out in the middle. Right here. Oh, I drowned. Wow. I was so busy looking at <laughs> breathing. It's important, just a little bit, not much, not enough that you know you'd ever miss it or anything. Wow, that was bad. I need to go. Might as well heal. I need to go get my money back. Seriously though, I thought I saw blue jellyfish as a thing. Maybe it was armored cave fish, but I already had gotten that. Also, it looks like diamond down here. That was just copper ore. Alright, so. Just even it out. So embarrassed I died. Uh, it's so bad. So bad. Alright, so let's. Hello, frames. Let's go ahead and get this quest cashed in. First, though, let's quick deposit here. Tin cans are useless, but that way they'll quick stack. Oh, there you are. Prentice bait, one gold, and angler hat. Good little slave. That... That makes me feel good about myself. Alright, so the angler hat. There it is. Equipable increases fishing level. So when I'm going to go fishing, I can equip the angler hat, presumably. Go ahead and put that in here. I will consider doing such thing. Let's go ahead and... Quick stack our stuff here. I still want to know what the hell I saw of blue jellyfish. I'll have an answer next episode. I mean, you can go back and rewind and, and see. I can't. Not yet. Well, back to hell. 
Thus is the way. This is the way. So, we've got a pretty long... Look good. We need to deal with this over here. But we should be good for a while after that. Damn, that's just all straight lava. I'm getting there. We'll just break this into here, and this into here, and we should be good. Stupid spiders. This time I'll remember to breathe. If we run fast enough, maybe we won't have to deal with this. Just <laughs> running, 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 running. Some money! Alright. Now that we are in a self-contained building, I can sabotage it. Why not? It's the lavas now. Should be almost empty here pretty soon. Yeah, I'm constructing from underneath, because I think this will be easier, honestly. This is how desperate of a man I am. I'm literally digging underneath because it is easier and has less enemies. I should have thought of this earlier, is, is how this goes. I really should have. This is so much easier. I do have to be a little careful here, but... I'm careful, I should be fine. Ow, ow, ow! By the way, that was not careful. That was the opposite of careful. So I'm going to have to kill a couple of things. But I mean, really... But all I've got to do is this. I have no potions with me again. I always do this. This is why I did this. Alright. So yeah, I am going to have to kill some slimes here.
That's okay, though. If I build fast enough, I actually might not have to. Aha! Granted, this poses a little bit of a problem, but nothing too impossible to handle. We'll just drain the giant chasm of lava somewhere else. As long as I can find a suitable way of draining it all. Which I think this qualifies as. I will have to deal with bone serpents, but they're not particularly bad. In comparison to the ridiculously excess amount of other crap I'd have to deal with otherwise. You're a bastard. I can't just do this too. Nothing saying I can't. Like go away. Just want you all to go away. That's it. Just away. Anywhere that's not here. I feel like this is the safer method, but it's gonna take a little longer. Solved. This is significantly more convenient. This is slightly riskier, sure. Gosh darn it, go away. Go away. Go away, I will find a way to defeat you. Even if it means doing this ridiculous thing that I am doing. I will not have to deal with your crap. And it will be glorious. Nope. You can't kill me fast enough. The Hellbat can though, darn it. Oh, this is so tedious. I'm going to have to clear out the top at some point anyway, is also the annoying part. Alright. Funny part is, I'm also building a tunnel underneath. Alright, 
this is one of the things that I discussed or that I pointed out that we have to take care of. Alright. Oops. We got a whole bunch of stones, so I don't really care about using it the most efficiently. This is going to take some time to drain. Unfortunately. Oh, and that's a block. Despite the fact that there are... It looks like there's a gap there. That's actually a full block, and that's a full block, so it's going to stop draining. I was wondering how long it would take for you idiots to show up. These are the actual problems, the fire imps. Everything else was base, well. I don't like those lava plumes. I've been over that. <laughs> really don't like them. Alright. I do have to go out and deal with this lava problem. Got the voodoo doll, that's what mostly counts. Well, while that's draining, let's deal with this one over here. Here, if we do this, get out. See, this is so much easier. re-entered populated areas. It's a problem again. Yeah, I thought that might happen. I can't make it stop. I can't put a brick where that is, but that's okay. Alright, so that's draining. And it's about time for another fishing quest. Leaving would make that basically auto drain. Yeah, I realize that's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Hey, I'm alive! I could have died and it would have been beautiful. Beautiful. All that stuff just goes away. I approve. So, fisherman. Surface underground and caverns. It is the dirt fish. 
All right. We'll put on our angler cap. And grab one of our eight minute duration on the fishing potion. All right, so I think the rest of the episode will be spent fishing. I apologize if you do not enjoy fishing, but we're going to try and get some crates and some other cool stuff. Because the increasing fishing skill it just makes it more likely that we're actually going to catch stuff. And here's our way in. So I'm actually going to just hit B. We're going to start fishing! Darn it. We're looking for dirt fish, we're looking for crates, and we're going to get a bunch of other stuff too. We're basically just looking to fish for 8 minutes. Bomb fish. Should be able to sell these, actually. Crates are good. Crates contain stuff. I think I've been over this. Uh, crates contain stuff, and um, by saving them the way that I am, I am, it will prevent me from having to mine a ton uh, once we get into the actual late game. Which is nice. Enjoy the quiet. Enjoy the music and all its wonderfulness. I want to know how a wooden crate bites. I mean, I imagine you get the hook snagged on it. Well, there's our dirt fish. And uh, the fact that it, uh, you know, get, got snagged on the crate. Um, and the movement of the water and all that causes it to get caught. Uh, one minute, you can barely see it in the clouds. Man, my mouse is just all over the place today. Come on now. It's past 9 a.m. I think between 9 and 3. It's harder to actually catch stuff. Wow, once again, my mouse just... I clicked and I know I clicked. I'm gonna turn my mouse off and on. So the downside of having a wireless mouse is you get some weird interactions like that. I'm actually going to be switching to a wired mouse here. Uh, probably the end of October, something like that. An iron crate. Very nice. Supposedly they give better loot the better they are. Not sure how that really works, but you know. Another wooden crate. We're catching quite a few crates. I hit B. I re I uh, drank another potion. So we've got five minutes left of skill increase and three of crate increase. We're gonna go until the crates used up. Crates, crates, crates. Come on now. Somehow catch a crate. Gosh darn it. I really need that fishing line. Old shoe. I still really want to know what I saw when it came to blue jellyfish. It's so odd.
Great, great, great. Great, great. How many bass do we have? 21 bass, Jesus. So I could do something fun and put a chest down. Well, technically I can't because I don't have a chest, but if I had a chest, I could put a chest down, put the dirt fish in it, and we'd be able to catch more dirt fish. Just a fun fact. Those frames, though. Man. Great central. Matrix slow motion. One of these days I will be getting a new graphics card, which should hopefully fix this, but it really shouldn't be an issue to begin with. Then again, I am running it full screen. It's not really intended to be run full screen like this. I think it's like the main way to play it. I think it's a lot more immersive. 55 seconds left of Great Potion. It's more immersive, it's more fun. You can see further, it makes boss fights easier. But it definitely is not optimized to run at this size, or at least it doesn't seem like it is. And it hasn't ever since I started playing it like this. I did, in fact, uh, make an attempt oh, to uh, run Terraria on a three screen, uh, three monitor setup. Great streak. Only got like 15 seconds left. And this is probably our last one. Maybe one more? And it's gone. So back we go. Yeah, All right. Sonar potion. That's not what I wanted. Oh, you irk me, sir. Well, let's go ahead and put our crates up because we got a lot of crates. And I mean it, a lot of crates. Pretty fun. We're gonna have a very big, tall stack of crates. Oh, look, it came out to a very nice pyramid. Oh, never mind, we were one short. On the other hand, this came out to a nice pyramid. <laughs> uh, silly. And somehow, from outside, he put the shoes in. Alright, well that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know that right now, there's a lot of just kind of maintenance going on. Nothing too crazy. And unfortunately, it doesn't really make for that great of a video sometimes. But, it's one of those things that kind of comes with Terraria. Now, it may seem really boring. Um, I hope it doesn't, because I'm still having fun. Um, it may seem a little boring as a watcher, but when you're playing it, the time's flying. I'd... Oopsie. Uh, sorry, Cardinal. Uh, I really do need the uh, the timer on OBS that it's showing to realize how much time has passed and when to end the episodes, because otherwise I would... I have made two hour long episodes in the past, which of course is not my goal. But, that said, Time flies. It's still fun. At least I find it fun. If, if this kind of game is for you, of course. If you're still watching it, I presume that this kind of game is something that you enjoy. Or, of course, if you're new, hopefully that this episode gave you a little bit of taste for it. Although I would suggest going to some of the earlier episodes where there's a little bit more discovery and exploration. Um, but regardless, we are getting pretty darn close to when I'd be comfortable to make it an attempt at the Wall of Flesh. And entering like ridiculous my hard mode and I don't even want to know <laughs> but overall we're making progress and I think that's what's important thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you next time <laughs>